<laughs> hey guys, name's <laughs> That is my name. Indeed. I don't know how I didn't see this. So preoccupied with other things. There's number 13. Still too bad I can't get up into this uh, room on the map there below the sitting room, which I don't give anyone the time to see. Oh, well. Very, very kind of a weird feeling when you have to have secrets kind of spoiled to you. I, mean, I was hoping to find them all by myself or with very minor hints, but, well, this one, this one, this one. It's not even in this world. So obvious in hindsight, however, a beta tester would, of course, do this. Also, it's suspicious how it takes a while to start closing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. You know what the really face palmy thing is? I actually went into the normal secret wall that opens where you're supposed to get into this secret world in the first place. And I did close it and check behind it, but I forgot to do the same with this one. God. What have we here? Nothing. I can't read this Aramaic text about silly peoples. What have we here? A keep? Wait, keeper? Wait, the key lovers? I forgot this isn't the thief world, so there's not really any keepers per se, but maybe there are. Oh, one more time. <laughs> 14 of 15, and the last one will be in the final area. What have we here? My prey has hidden his tracks well, so well that at times I have wondered if I seek after a ghost that never was, and yet he appears to me in the empty spaces, in the blotted words and desiccated victims of an unknown plague. Like a shadow on the sun he stands, ever hidden, ever watchful. Our age is that of the hammer, and yet like the vapors from a corpse, the wisps of forgotten times seep into our own. It was in the tomb of an ancient king that I finally found him. Clasped in the skeletal hands was a book, and in the crumbling pages was a name. How could one as careful as he be so arrogant? Did he need a reminder of what he once was? And yet in the truth I find no peace. Our own symbols adorn this place. Were his helpers once one of us? So too is the lesson of the Brotherhood. To hide in the open is the greatest disguise. It is not known how far the caves of the Belloc stretch. Temur de Gurgen tells of a, I can't read this very well. Tells of a caravan of Kelathi that followed the caverns as far as edge of the Nister. There the rocks turned to the color of ice, and the wind moaning through the cliffs spoke whispered warnings in the tongue of the Manus. This was the Kastaro spoken of in the ancient lands. It is said that the hidden one sleeps inside forever held in the grip of the earth, waiting for someone to pierce its cage. But the Kalathi remembered the ancient stories and were wise, turning away. Oh, 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 oh. Damn, but what of this? Eh? Wait a minute, oh. God damn it, really? Oh, no. Dude, this, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 I'm not gonna be able to breathe! Oh, well, whatever. Whatever. What have we up here, for reals? Damn. <laughs> that was awesome, and I really should have thought of that. But oh well, I can now collect the last secret. Almost certainly will have missed some loot, but eh, that's just what happens. Let's go back and briefly run through the ending again. Yeah, you do have different health in the different worlds and everything. I never even realized that before. Oh, let's grab the ladder. Oh, it's so hard getting up the ladder. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, but now, oh wait, I can't go back. I have to go back out through the room. What am I, an idiot? All right, well. Secrets are meant to be secret, you know, they're not meant to be doled out easily. It's a wonder I got as many as I did by myself, actually. 
So, bloop. And Okay, that's it. Only 6,700 loot. There's 74 or something like that. Well, oh well. Also, he's got a hammer on his back, even though he despises the hammers. How an ironic storytelling! Oh. No! No! Well, even though I've beaten the mission already, because I could say a few words. This is pretty much everything I love in a mission. I did have a few niggles that were pretty much hilariously inconsequential, I guess. But, man, this is awesome. Also, your dress, it reveals your uh, floating legs. How unladylike. Also, it's got like this amazing story, this awesome gameplay mechanic thing. It's got these gorgeous visuals. It's got a house with secrets in it. It's got some great voice acting around and and it's got these heavenly angel people. I mean, what more could you possibly ask for? Your legs are also floating. That's that's quite uncouth of you. God dang, people. I mean, what's wrong with you? Hello, my friend. All my life I have lived in fear. Fear of my sins, and fear of what was to come. For ages my whole family has lived under that cloud, trapped by a monster we never even knew was there. But now, it feels like the long night has passed, and that the curse has been lifted. No matter what may happen next, we are free, and we can never repay you for that gift. It is the Builder's work to bind up the brokenhearted and set free those who are enslaved. Thank you for doing the Builder's work for us this night. May he bless your path and guide you always. Well, here I am back on the path home. Call me Naughty Inch Nails. The sweet scent of home. And here we go. That is the outro movie. And these are our stats. Much better, but still not good enough. Anyways, yeah. Like I was saying, this is Naughty Inch Nails, and I'll see you guys next time for probably more Dark Mod or something, because... Crash landing imminent, sir. We're gonna have to land the plane.